Hey everyone, it's George from Short Socks and today I'm going to teach you how to slate. Okay, so first of all, why do we slate? There's a few reasons for that, which I'm going to explain. One of the reasons why we slate is when you're shooting, you tend to record video and your audio separately. So when it comes to post for your editor, they can easily see um, the mark at po the point at which the slate hits and you get a nice big waveform. Uh, so your editor can sync up your audio and your video uh, perfectly. That's one of the main reasons why why we slate. Secondly, one of the reasons why we slate as well is so if you're not recording audio, uh, your editor can clearly see on the slate when they're reading it, uh, you know, what scene it is, what take, what role uh, is being used. Okay, so reading a slate, there's quite a lot of information that's displayed on there, but it's all relatively straightforward, which I'll just run through now. So your scene, in this case, we've got scene 1A, that's obviously what the scene of the film that you're shooting. That could be scene 1A, 3B, 7D, it doesn't really matter, as long as you've got, you know, it matches your shot list and that's fine. Your take, obviously, is the number of takes that you're on. So, again, for this, for this purpose, we put take one, but it could be take two, three, doesn't matter, that will also tend to go up. Your role, uh, you usually have role A and role B, that is, you know, for what kind of memory card you're shooting on the camera. Again, that's just so your editor knows which, you know, which card to look on, so he's not taking ages trying to find everything. It's all, you know, easy to find. Uh, your date, obviously relatively straightforward. Um, your production company doesn't always tend to be on a slate, but in this case, Shutter Socks, for when we made Cypher is Your, so we wrote that. The director for the film was David Duffin, and our cameraman was Callum Rhodes, I suppose so, but it went, went very faded. And then obviously at the top, you would write the film that you're making. In this case, obviously ours was Cypher is Your. Okay, so when it comes to your sound, if you are recording sound uh, with your visuals, you would write sync in the box, and then obviously you would clap on the take. If you aren't recording sound though, you would write MOS, which stands for motor only sync. And if you were to do that, you'd literally just pop your hand in the slate, hold it up, and then move away once your cameraman tells you to move away. When you have your, you know, the letter for what shot you're on, you tend to say a word, so maybe one apples or one arctic, something like that. Um, we didn't actually do that in Cypress Your. I just said, you know, one A, just said the letter. And the reason for that is um, just because, you know, sometimes it can put an actor off if you say like, you know, for gorillas or something like that. It just might put them off. It doesn't, you know, it could be any word. Um, and that did happen a couple of times, so we just kind of stuck to the letter. But it's completely up to you. If you want to say a word, then feel free. 79 fucking explosives. Fucking <laughs> action. <laughs> if you want to see some examples of what I've just mentioned about the whole letter thing, saying words instead of just the letter, um, I'll drop a link for the, um, the slating that was done for Inglorious Bastards by Quentin Tarantino, uh, and you'll kind of see what I mean. Now when you're slating, there's something else that you tend to do if you're doing like a close-up or you've got an intense scene. And what that is, is called soft sticks. And what soft sticks is, is you can imagine if you're doing a close-up scene and it's an intense one with an actor, what you don't want to do is go right up to their face and go scene 1A, take one, and slam it down. It's just going to put the actor off and, you know, it's going to take a while to kind of reset. What you want to do instead is call scene 1A, take one, soft sticks, and then go like that. You're still gonna get a nice waveform that's gonna be easy to find, and it's not gonna put off um, you know, your actors that you've paid millions of pounds for. Soft sticks, scene 9K, take one. Uh, additionally, there's also something when you're slating called second sticks, and what second sticks is, is to give an example, if I was to call scene 1A, take one, and then clap on the on the slate, that was out of shot. So, you know, what you do, your cinematographer would probably say, you know, second sticks, or, you know, you'd realize that the slate was out of shot, and you just pop it back in, call second sticks, and then you don't have to repeat the slate because you've already said it. Uh, you just bring it back up, and then, yeah, clap. So now I'm just gonna show you some examples of how we slayed in Cypher is Your. Scene 6B, take two. Scene 1J, take two. Scene 11F, take one. Scene 6E, take four. Scene 2N, take two. Here's some examples of how not to slate. Scene 4, take one. Scene 3, take four. 
Team 589. Another thing that's worth mentioning that I found quite useful is to keep in regular contact with your cinematographer. Uh, in our case, when we filmed with Cypher Azure, uh, I kept talking to Callum, like, you know, what shot we're doing, changing the letter for each, you know, scene if we were on shot A or shot B so on and so forth. It's definitely worth keeping in contact with him just so you're, you're both on the same page in terms of what shot you're on. So again, you don't, you don't get confused. Uh, in my case, what I did, uh, I actually sellotaped our shot list to the back of the slate. So when it came to slating, you couldn't see it, but it was just very easy to just look on the back, see, right, we're on shot D or shot E, uh, and yeah, just quickly turn it over, rub out what shot I had, and then just write a new letter. When you are writing your slate as well, never put an I or an O for the, you know, the scene that you're on because, you know, if, if your editor's looking, an I can look like a number one and an O can obviously look like a, a zero. So just always skip them. And it's actually something that we did for our shot list. So it was, you know, we never had to, you know, look for it or worry about it, you know, coming up. It was just, it just wasn't there. So it's worth putting that in your shot list as well, not to put those letters in as well. Now, if you're, super 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 low budget uh, then you know or you're just making films you know with your mates or whatever you don't actually need a clapperboard what you can actually do instead is just literally go that and that's you know just as good now something that we're going to be doing for our next film that we make is use a whiteboard slate we obviously used a chalk one for Cypher's Your and the weather was quite bad some days so it just kind of ruined it with the chalk so whiteboard ones uh, obviously you know you know, probably better and also, um, you know, they're still pretty cheap on Amazon, you know, you type in whiteboard slate, whatever. That's what we're going to be using for our next film, so you should too. Cool, anyway, thanks very much for watching this video. I'm a bit awkward on camera, but, you know, whatever. Uh, if you want to see more, more videos like this and more kind of blog posts, uh, head over to shuttersocks.uk. Uh, we want to start churning out loads of more content for, for everyone to kind of see. So, yeah, we're going to be doing that. And, uh, yeah, catch you next time. <laughs> Sick. Bye bye.